Hey everyone, it's Marilyn. Welcome back to KK's Quilt Studio. Wow, where did summer go? It, it got away from us really fast. It's after Labor Day, the kids are back to school, and I've been noticing there's a little bit more chatter going on out there on the boards and in the Facebook groups. And um, people are probably getting back to their machines and getting back to quilting, vacations are over. And I've seen quite a few things that I'd like to address. And the first one today, we're gonna to talk about Pro Stitcher Premium and uh, relocating the elements of a workspace. So say you've um, designed a layout perhaps in Pro Stitcher Premium Simulator at your laptop or at your desktop and away from your machine. You've saved that to a thumb drive and taken it over to your machine, put it in your tablet and you're ready to get going. Or maybe you um, created the layout, created an edge to edge in uh, at your machine, at your tablet, stitched out a row or two and then had to shut down for the evening. And you come back today and how do you get things lined back up to your quilt top? So let's move on over into Pro Stitcher Premium, into Simulator, and I'll show you about how that's done. So here we are in Pro Stitcher, and this is the uh, simulator. I'm doing this because it's easier to see um, than working at my machine and my tablet, but know that the steps are the same from whenever you go to your tablet. So um, I just think this is a clearer way to try and explain things. So what I have done is gone ahead and aligned my machine head, you'll see my crosshairs here, um, to the top left portion of my quilt. So my quilt this would be the top left corner and my top would exist somewhere down in here. And I want to get that um, design that I worked on to line back up to that corner. So I'm under the file tab. I'm going to go to workspace on the ribbon, click on that, click open. And I am pulling this from a thumb drive. So it'll be a drive F or G, whatever. Um, Plug, you've plugged it into at your tablet and I've created some folders called one called workspace that's where I save things that I've been working on and I'm going to select this one and click open okay things don't quite line up this is the top of my quilt it's not up here so this isn't where I want to start how do I get that back down here so I have the select tool highlighted. If I am on simulate, what I get is I can move the crosshair. So whenever you're selecting a design or area, you need to have the select button clicked. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm on a mouse or I'm using a mouse or you can use your finger. You can drag that down into position. But what that did was disconnect that from the area. So I could go to area, use the select tool to click on it, and you'll see that area went from a kind of pinkish, purplish color to a bluish greenish color. Um, when I click select, that means I have it now, and I can move or drag that around and into position. Well, that would be all in fine and wonderful, but it is a little bit fidgety. There are tools on your Pro Stitcher, um, and I want you to use them. I want you to know which ones do what and how to use them for what occasion. So um, we need to locate this. So let's go up under our Modify tab. Now, I don't have anything selected. Everything's grayed out while I do have the area selected. So I need to select something. So let's click on that design. You'll see my tools light back up. They were all unlighted before. So I could go to the align tool and I could say, okay, I want that to align to the upper corner. If I align it to the left, oh, look at that, align is only good when you're aligning it to the area. So that's how the align tools work. Reposition 
actually repositions your design. So while I have that design selected, don't forget to, this is another sort of alignment tool, but it's a repositioning tool. So remember the difference between reposition and align. Align aligns the design to the area. Reposition will align it to your workspace. So we're going to click on reposition from the ribbon, so have that design selected, and I'm going to use top left. Top left aligns that to the top left of my corner. Let me go back to area, select my area again, go back to modify, I'm still on reposition, and let's click top left. Okay, what that did is snapped everything to that corner. That may or may not be what you wanted. What I wanted was my design to be more or less centered so that I have a little bit, a smidge, hanging over the top of my quilt. Remember, my area signifies the layout or the position of my quilt top. So I don't want all this extra hanging over here. I want a smidge hanging over here and up here. I could use my nudge tools. I could click on it um, and drag it with my fingertip or holding down the left key of my mouse, but I can also go back to a line. Remember, a line helps you position that design within that area. So what I could do is center it back where I had it when I brought the design in or when I saved it in my workspace. And now I have just a smidge of everything hanging over, positioned just the way I want to quilt this quilt top. Just a little bit of the design that goes over the edge of the quilt. So I use my tools. I can drag it, I can reposition it, but remember to use your tools. So these are my align tools and these are my reposition tools. Just remember everything has a purpose and I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you do, don't forget to subscribe to my channel or if ever you have a question that you'd like me to answer or do a video, something that's really stumping you, don't uh, hesitate to contact me through Facebook, message me, or you can direct email me at kksos at kksquiltstudio.com. So I hope that you are back in the swing of things and quilting away. Till we meet next time, wish you happy quilting.